So here's a frequency distribution made. The directions read, create a frequency distribution for the weights of a small dog breed using a starting class limit of, and that would normally be supplied, but I'll go ahead and list it now, of 15 and a class width of three. So now I'm ready to go ahead and make my table. For me, the first thing I do is I go and figure out, you know, what is it I'm studying, which in this case, it was the weight. So I'm gonna write, weight because my first column should be the category I'm studying and for the weights I'm told to start with a lower limit of 15 and for the class width remember that we add the 3 to get the next lower limit so I'm going to actually have 18 is my next lower limit and that means if I had 18 and I'm using whole numbers my prior upper limit would have been 17. Now you could follow that process again. I could add 3 again to 18 to get 21, which means my prior upper limit would have been 20. Or really I could have added the 3 there and figured out the 20. So like I could even do that in this case is now I could add 3 to 21 and I know that my next upper limit whoops sorry is 23 now I can keep going this way but remember I want to only go as far as I need to for this particular table so as I go up and I scan the table I notice that 26 is the largest entry and it doesn't fit in any of these classes so I do need to keep going so I'm going to add 3 to get 24 and add 3 to get 26 and 26 will fit in that last class so I can stop making classes. So now I'm at the point where I'm ready to um, create my t frequencies. I personally like to create a tally column because it's just easier process for me. So when I see the first number of 22, I'm gonna put it in the third class. The next number of 18 would go in the second class. 19 goes in the second class. 16, in the first class, 25 the last class, 15 the first class, and then I keep going this way. And so as I go through, you'll notice I'm slashing off the numbers so I can kind of see what's happening. I make sure I didn't skip a number. And now I'm ready to make my frequency column. When you label that, because remember I'm looking for the labels, either write out the whole word frequency or at least F-R-E-Q. Don't just write F, that drives me crazy. So I had four items in my first class, four items in my second class. When you're doing tallies, the method is when you get to the fifth item, you do a diagonal slash, so you know you have blocks of five. But that means I have five in my third class and three in my last class. That's really all you needed to do, but as I mentioned before, I usually like to turn around and add these up. Four plus four is eight, plus five is 13, plus three is 16, and then I go back and double check how many numbers I had. When I look at this, I've got one, whoops, wrong pen. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns and two rows, eight times two is 16. So my frequency, whoops, table, sorry, looks complete. You actually didn't need the total. I could have cut it off right there.